so I'm here with Kayla Wilson and Kayla you're gonna be a senior at Lee High School yes. this year right yeah and um, you just started a petition at change.org tell me about what that petition says and why you did it well I started the petition um, when Julian Castro called for the renaming of my high school Robert E. Lee and I didn't know that we could rename until he said so so now that I know I wanted the renaming and when the NEIZ spokeswoman said they weren't considering changing it because they didn't have any complaints I wanted to create this petition to show that people do have complaints and they want it to change. Yeah and then um, I think I heard it on Express News where they mentioned that um, this isn't the only school that was called to, called to rename. It was also Jefferson, um, Jefferson Davis Middle School, which is now like Stonewall's Jackson Davis. So if they, you know, if they can change, and that was a Confederate general that was named um, for that school. And they named that a civil rights leader. So I thought, well, why don't we just like change the name to George W. Lee, who was also a civil rights leader. So I thought that would be best. And, and the, the last name would stay the same, just yeah. like it did with It would be easier school. transition. Mm -hmm. and, and I remember reading about him, and I remember how much he did um, for, for the South. He was, one, um, he was the first one to register to vote in Mississippi, and he, he, he did a lot for, um, for civil rights in, in the South and Mississippi, so I thought that would be best. And an easier transition, you know, for Lee. So not everything would be changed at that school. Yeah. Um, you you um, you started this petition, mm -hmm. um, and it's been about ten days now since you since you started it, yeah. and you're up to how many signatures? Um, right now I'm. I think it's like two thousand nine hundred and seventy something, almost three thousand. Almost three thousand signatures. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> I didn't think I would get that far. Yeah. Yeah. And and you've gotten um, some responses from across the country too, right? Yeah. Somebody and else? Yeah. Um. I've yeah I've gotten responses from other people who also are calling to rename their schools that are also named after Confederate generals and leaders, and I've I've gotten like responses from alumni and students who want to see the change and you know, so it's not. Um, you know, it's, it's not just people from out of state, it's also a lot of people in San Antonio. What kind of reactions have you gotten from your classmates? I've gotten people who think that I don't know my history or I, you know, why would I care about this now? But I've also gotten a lot of people who agree with me and they wouldn't mind seeing a change and they feel like there's some people who are more appropriate to honor and name a school by so but most people who have disagreed with me have openly done it on Twitter but people have messaged me who are in my class and, and, and alumni actually recent alumni and older num, alumni who um, agree with me too so well I mean let's let's get to the point I mean you say it in your petition but what's what's the reason to to change the name Robert E. Lee was a general of the Confederacy who, you know, did an act of treason. And I know a lot of people say that he, like, did it for his state, like he didn't want to fight for it. But he could have, like, you know, quit the military altogether. But no, he decided to fight for, for the Confederacy against America. And the Confederacy, they were fighting for their right to keep slavery, to own human beings, and I don't think we should celebrate someone like that. I mean, I know he's part of our history, but it's not a history that we should be proud of. It was an act of treason, it was, it was for something terrible, for enslavement of human beings, and that's something we, sh we should never, never celebrate. Did you call the school and say, I want to change the name? Um, the first thing I did was contact my principal and actually when I did she emailed me back. I was expecting like maybe like oh thank you for you know um, your concern or you know s you know s something on those lines but she like emailed me back and like kind of gave me a history lesson and said um, 
she doesn't feel like the name should be changed and she's not going to consider it. Lee was a leaf off for his state. He was a good general. He's someone that we should rem um, remember and like, and I'm, I'm not, and I never said we should forget him in my petition because I sent her my petition. So, um, I mean, I ho I'm hoping that she read it. I also did email the board members. Um, I asked them w when the board meeting was going to be and I told them about my <coughs> petition and they responded a little bit more respectfully. They said, you know, thank you for your concern. So when is the next board meeting? The next board meeting will be on August 10th. So, and, and now you're asking people to sign the petition, but you're also asking them to come um, to the board meeting. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's, 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 you know, especially, um, you know, people in, you know, especially people San Antonio alumni to come and support um, so they can know, like, because right now um, the board is saying they're, it's not in their agenda to change it. And I think if we have as much people as possible come to support, they'll reconsider changing the name. I have to say that um, um, before we started this conversation just now, um, uh, just it's been within less than an hour ago that um, you were watching live on CNN on your phone as they took the Confederate battle flag down from the Capitol grounds in South Carolina. Yeah, yeah, that's. That's amazing. I mean, it's sad that it had to take um, nine lives for them to realize the flag should come down, but I'm glad that it's finally coming down.